Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm Dream. My name is Raymond, this is Nicole, and this is our farm. Okay, okay, okay. Um, this is our farm, but let me explain you what's really going on here. When we were looking around for a farm, we soon realized that it was just too expensive. We had to deviate from our original plan to buy a farm and had to buy a normal house. And that's when we came across this one. It was quite ragged up, not much left of it, but here we are anyway. We stripped the entire house down and cleaned everything up. Now we have a front yard, the attic and the backyard. For the front yard, we have 6 meters by 5 meters. It's about 16 by 20 feet. There's a little pathway to the door, so we can't use that. But that leaves us with enough space for two raised bats. The bats will be about 120 by 240, which is about 4 by 8 feet. And on the outside line, we'll put a border of about 40 centimeters high. We can add all different plants in there, and also maybe a few veggies that we're just gonna put out on the border. Now for the attic, the main idea is to use it for propagation and microgreens. So we will use not natural light, but our own light to create crops. This is where we will start all the seedlings. The main plan is to use the back wall for microgreens and a hydrophonic, and the left wall for all our propagation. Now we still need to figure out how this is gonna work, but for now, this is the basic plan. I'm, I'm not too sure on it. Moving on to the backyard, we have quite a lot of space. We've decided to open up a border on the left side of the garden and also in front of the shed. That's where the most sun will be, so we'll definitely try and use that to the most advantage as we can. On the right side, we will also have a small patch. This is mainly used for crops that don't need too much sun because it's right next to the fence. So this is the idea. Let's get started. Hey, and what's good, everybody? This is Raymond from The Farm Dream. And this is the dream. Not really though, because this place is a mess. We've done all upstairs and we're now doing downstairs. And then we also have all this left. All this is stuff that we will uh, clean out tomorrow. Yesterday, me and my girlfriend started working on the front yard. Um, it started to rain and it got dark, so we had to stop that. And today the plan is to make the microgreens upstairs. And I'm just gonna take you guys on the journey with that. Let's go. All right, hey guys, what's good? Welcome to the attic. As you can hear, it is pretty much empty in here. Have some stuff down there. Um, just some stuff we're gonna use for the hydrophonic and for the microgreens. Right, so over there, we're gonna put the microgreens. And then over there, we'll probably do a wall with pre-planting. Every plant that goes outside, we will plant first in here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna grab some stuff and let's get started. All right, I'm just gonna try and set it up, see what it's like. Let's open up the box and uh, let's have a look. In this rack is our storage. Um, and this is what we're gonna use to grow our microgreens on. So let me just see if I can get the manual out from under there and uh, let me start building it. So I've been working on the shelving system. So far it's working out really good. Let me show you the lights. There you go, all the lights are on. So at this moment I have two LED lights per shelf. They're 16 watt each. I probably need a little bit more light, but we'll have a look and see how it grows. And if it doesn't work out, then we can always add some more later, right? Next up, I'll be adding all the power supplies and adding some fans to prevent mold as much as I can. It's really handy to just add a few fans to get that circulation going in the air. Raining once again, but uh, quickly go into the shed to do some soldering. Uh, let's see. Just wanted to solder these fans together because uh, yeah, we need it for the microgreens. So let me show you. All right, so these are the wires of the two fans, as you can see. So I'm just gonna solder those together. And then I'm gonna grab this. Oh. AC adapter and with that adapter I'm gonna add it to that so I'm gonna cut that open and I'm gonna add it to these wires and then my friends we will have it set up so I've just been putting up these fans they're working they're running I have them all layers as you can see. I'm uh, really happy with that. And uh, I'm just gonna do the final touches and then we have the microgreen farm ready to go. So 
so after uh, cleaning up everything over here I think we're about ready to start working on the garden uh, we have some bags over there but that's just uh, sand compost really and then this is also ready it's compost and that is something that we should start composting and maybe we can use it later we have a compost bin well we're just going to plan out how we're going to do the garden so it's going to be exciting to do And Nicole's cleaning the front garden and my battery is running low. So that's it. That's it for today. Bye, say bye. 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 Hey guys, welcome to a new day. Um, today I'm going to just create a little something for the birds. I'm going to use some rope, just string it around there and hang it up. And I'm going to try to make a picture of, uh, of a bird with my GoPro. So let's see if we can make that happen. So the main reason I'm using rope instead of the normal wires in which they come is that a bird can get stuck into it with his feet and uh, get hurt. So this is the best way to solve that. Just get a little bit of rope and string it around there. Make a knot. Make sure it's about straight. And then make another knot up top. There we go. That will do. So since I already know that the birds love to sit in this tree because the neighbors tend to put food in it as well, I'm just gonna hang it on this side and then we're gonna put our GoPro there and see if we can grab some great pictures. So the bird already spotted me. It was just in the tree above me. So I might leave this camera rolling on it and just see if we can take a bit of video as well. Hey guys, so in the background, I'm automatically taking pictures now every now and then. And I also have some video, so I'll show you all that in a bit. The weather is out, and look, the birds are actually up there. I'm not sure if you guys can see them. They're just there waiting, so I'm just gonna go inside and let them do their thing. So there are a few things we need to do in the front garden and it's quite nice weather so I just think I'm just going to start on that today. Uh, let, me, let me show you. So we started to cut down quite some of these bushes. There are a few more over there, I'll take those out. And then we have all these stones over there and I'm going to put them right there. So uh, that's for now and we also need to try to get rid of those stones gonna fill up that gap and then all i want to do is get out all those roots of all the bushes but let's start <laughs> now all these bushes are filled with ladybugs so i'm trying to take care of that by cutting down not too quickly but let's uh Let's hope they'll be fine. And here we go, the last branch. And that's it. I wanted to dig up the roots as well, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. I saw a lot of insects down there and I wanna give them some time to just move around. So we're just gonna do the other task first and we'll get back to it later. It's time to move these stones. We're gonna try to get out as much as green stuff as I can. So all the roots have collected stones. So I think I'm gonna have to run all the stones through a, a separating system. Uh, I have an idea. Let me grab something and let's try it out. So the idea is quite simple. We have chicken wire, put it on top of the bin.
yeah, that's not gonna work. Because now I'm left with rocks and dirt. And we can't really use that too much. All right, I have to think of something for that. So as you can see, there are a lot of rocks in here. And I was trying to till it, but I just noticed over there that there's just too many rocks and it's just not gonna work. Would be, would be a waste to put all those rocks in the ground. So I'm just gonna grab something, try and make a system where we can filter out all the rocks. Let me just explain you the concept. It's really easy. We take a bucket with stones in it and sand and we pour it onto the chicken wire. The rocks will continue to travel all the way down here in the basket and the sand will fall down on a pile underneath. That's the concept. I've used it before, works really well. I'm gonna start building this rig and then we'll just get to use it. So there it is. Not the prettiest, but let's test it out and see if it works because that's what it's all about. Let's test this. All right. And as you guys can see, only the rocks left. Now there will also be some roots in here, but we can easily take them out right now. That's it. This is what we're looking for, clean rocks. All we have to do is wash them down a little bit and we have it perfectly set. So this is the machine. Let's uh, try and use it. That's working. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked it and you want to see some more, here are two other videos. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you liked it. Tap the dislike button twice if you disliked it. And don't forget to live the farm dreams.